Celebrity Shorts. Tom Hardy arrests moped thief. Actor Tom Hardy arrested a suspected thief in southwest London after chasing him through gardens and a waste ground in a scene worthy of a Hollywood movie. Witnesses said two men were riding a stolen moped that crashed into a Mercedes in Richmond on Sunday afternoon. One of the men was immediately nabbed by the police, but the other fled the scene. That's when the 39-year-old actor went into superhero mode. Hardy sprinted and leapt over a wall as he pursued the runner. The action star chased the suspect through gardens and eventually caught the alleged thief at a garbage dump. Hardy then triumphantly shouted, I caught the c**t! Hardy pulled the thief into a bus stop and patted him down for hidden weapons before checking his ID and handing him over to the cops. Witnesses said they heard the actor say, This little s**t nicked something and now he's got himself a broken leg. Both suspects were injured. They are both reportedly facing theft charges. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more celebrity-related stories. Con Yeezy West confirms he's officially running for president in 2020. Oh snap! Forget 2016, let's fast forward to 2020. Because Kanye West has confirmed in an interview with Vanity Fair that he was dead serious when he announced his candidacy for the presidency in 2020. During his MTV Video Music Awards speech last month. Apparently, Kanye realized while sitting in the club that he's got a bit of research to do in terms of what being POTUS actually entails, and only five years to do it. But hey, how hard can it be for a college dropout who uh, used to make good music and now clothes? Yay, he also says he believes in teamwork and doesn't like the way elections pit candidates against one another. The idea of this separation and this gladiator battle takes away from the main focus, Gus said. Looks like Kanye is also a big fan of Muslim-loving Ben Carson. With Kanye in the house, just think of how off the hook the parties will be. But keeping up with the Kardashians in the cabinet may be a bit much. What about his VP? Hova would be a safe bet. But maybe keep it in the fam and go with Bruce, sorry, Caitlyn Jenner. Yep. Extreme sports athlete and MTV star killed in freak skydiving accident. A group of four experienced parachuters were performing a skydiving routine Monday morning when an accident left MTV star Eric Ronier dead. Eric Ronier and three other skydivers were the opening act for a charity golf tournament in Squaw Valley, California on Monday. A witness says two parachuters jumped first and landed safely. Ronier was the third to jump, but hit a tree at a high speed 25 to 30 feet above the ground while landing. He died on impact. Ronier's parachute was caught in the tree, and it was reportedly 40 minutes before rescuers could retrieve his body. Emergency personnel pronounced him dead at the scene. He was 39. He is survived by his wife, Anika, and their two children. Hulk Hogan versus Gawker. The celebrity sex tape lawsuit that's surprisingly going to trial. Back in 2012, a secretly recorded sex tape showing Hulk Hogan body slamming his friend's wife at the time, Heather Clem, ended up on the gossip peddling desks of Gawker. They posted the X-rated video and attracted a torrent of traffic to their website. Hulk wasn't happy. Now the courtroom battle between Hulk Hogan and Gawker boss Nick Denton will commence on July 6th. Hogan wants $100 million for the emotional distress he claims to have suffered when facing a choice of having this sex video torpedo his career. Denton, meanwhile, may not have the support of his employees, but he does have a solid defense in the Hogan case. <coughs> 
To win this SmackDown, Hogan will need to convince a jury that the sex tape was not newsworthy and that by releasing it, Gawker violated his expectation of privacy. But Gawker is arguing that the Hulkster made his sex life a matter of public interest by bragging in interviews about his penis size and how ladies love a Hulk Hogan mustache ride. Will the Hulk put a hundred million dollar dent in Denton's fortune? Or will Gawker be crowned champ of Hulk Hogan's realist bout today? Let's get ready to rumble! Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Video of Justin Bieber getting petted down in jail following his DUI arrest in Miami Beach surfaced on the web recently. The video shows embarrassing footage of Beeps being patted down by a burly Miami police officer. But that's not all. According to Miami police, there's even footage of Bieber pissing in the cell. This isn't the first time there's been footage of Bieber peeing in public. Just last July, he relieved himself in a mop bucket at a restaurant. Last month, Bieber couldn't contain himself on the way to Snowmass, Colorado. So of course, his crew pulled over to let Bieber paint his initials on the snow for all the world to see. Hmm, has Justin Bieber been potty trained? Anyways, Bieber's lawyers are busy preventing any video of Bieber from falling into the hands of or being used by the media. But they can't stop us from doing an animated reenactment. Catch me outside, how about that girl making $40,000 per appearance? How do you stretch out 15 seconds of internet fame? You start by charging rate. That's what Danielle Bregoli is now doing in the aftermath of becoming a viral supernova on Dr. Phil. Since leaving the TV doctor's couch back in September, 13-year-old Bregoli has achieved minor celebrity status and is now getting paid heaps for it. Reports out of her camp say she'll be paid upwards of 40,000 bones to appear at the Rolling Loud Music Festival in May. The owner of the company putting on the festival will also be throwing Danielle's 14th birthday party, and she'll reportedly earn a cut of the ticket sales. Bergoli charges $30,000 for domestic appearances and $40,000 to show up at events overseas. It might sound crazy at first glance, but consider that Jersey Shore's Mike The Situation made more than $5 million in 2010, capitalizing on his name through appearances, a workout DVD, magazine covers, and even a vitamin line for GNC. Not so crazy anymore, huh? Maybe Bregoli will make like memorable American Idol contestant William Hung and get a record deal someday. Or maybe she'll just fade away fast like those damn Daniel kids. Guess we'll soon see. Bregoli's already doing glammed up photo shoots aimed at helping the public see her in a different light. So, cash me outside? How about that? <laughs>